But we want to help you get to know the candidates as people with a series we call Vice Presidential Questions. Tonight, we ask them to look back and reflect on those who have been there, done that. What previous vice president impresses you the most and why? Oh, my goodness. Uh, it would have to be a vice president, uh, just a candidate. And that would have been Geraldine Ferraro, of course. That, that's an easy one for me because she, uh, she's one who first shattered part of that glass ceiling anyway in American politics. So it would be she as a candidate. What about as an actual vice mm. president, if you had to name one? My goodness. Um, I think those who have gone on to the presidency, uh, George Bush Sr., having uh, kind of learned the ropes in his position as VP and then moving on up. Lyndon Johnson, uh, for all the foibles he had as president in my p people's minds, uh, he really knew how the system worked. He was able to be a significant uh, facilitator of a of a new frontier, new policy. Um, people in the Congress knew him, knew he knew a lot. Uh, and so I hope one of my roles as vice president will be as the person actually implementing Barack Obama's policy. You got to get the Congress to go along with it. <clears throat> and I've presumptuous me to say, but I know it pretty well and I think I'm fairly well respected on both sides of the aisle. What do you think is the best thing and the worst thing that Dick Cheney has done as vice president? I'm not being a wise guy about what I don't know what he's done. There's not many things I'd pick that I thought he's done that have been good. But I, I admire his strength. I admire his, um, his willingness to take positions that are completely contrary to popular opinion. But I think what he's done has been just, uh, I don't think Dick Cheney trusts that the American people make judgments that are in the interest of the country. But the thing I really, really think he's done, I think he's... I think he has done more harm than any other single elected, high elected official in my memory in terms of uh, shredding the Constitution, um, you know, uh, uh, condoning torture, pushing torture as a policy. This idea of a, the unitary executive, meaning the Congress and the people have no power in a time of war, the president controls everything. And I don't have any animus toward Dick Cheney. Um, but I really do think uh, his attitude about the Constitution and the, and the prosecution of this war has been absolutely wrong. Worst thing, I guess that would have been the duck hunting accident um, <laughs> where, um, you know, that was, that was an accident and um, that was, uh, I think, made into uh, a caricature of him and, and that was kind of unfortunate. So um, the best thing, though, he as he's shown the support along with George W. Bush of our troops. And I've been there when George Bush has spoken to families of those who have suffered greatly, uh, those who are serving in our military. I've been there when President Bush has embraced those families and expressed the concern and the sympathy speaking for all of America in those times and for Dick Cheney to have supported that effort of George Bush's, I respect that. What's your favorite movie and why? Chariots of Fire. I think it's probably my favorite movie. Um, but the truth of the matter is, the thing about it there is, it's a place where, you know, someone put uh, personal fame um, and glory uh, uh, behind principle. Um, and, you know, that to me is the mark of real heroism um, when, 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 when someone would do that. Do you remember your favorite scene from that movie? Uh, I think the favorite scene is when the, uh, he is making the decision and talking to his wife about, do I do this? What do I do? He so desperately wanted to run, but concluded he couldn't. God makes kings and the rules by which they govern. And those rules say that the Sabbath is his. And I, for one, intend to keep it that way. It was that, you know, that moment of decision. Uh, I think that was my favorite scene. I also like the scene in the beach where, you know, he is just running. Uh... I, I love those old sports movies like Hoosiers and, and Rudy. Um, those that uh, show that the underdog can make it and it's all about tenacity and work ethic and determination and just doing the right thing. So it, was, it would probably be one of those two old sports movies. 
Do you have a favorite scene from either of them? Oh, at the very end, the victories. Yeah. All right, go get it, kid. Rudy, where, you know, he gets to run out on the field and he gets to participate and make a difference. And then Hoosiers, when they win. Next week, we continue our series, Presidential Questions.